I think you're, everyone is wake up at this moment of the morning. Okay, don't forget, we have our community, uh, our community corner in the Sun Moon uh, Hall in the second floor. Visit it. We have also a job board, just in case in your company you need someone to hire. This is the perfect place. And don't forget to visit our sponsor booths. They are here. You have here one hall uh, really near and in the uh, next floor. So this is a group of lightning talks of incredible speakers. So I hope all of you are going to join. And let's start with the first one. The less I talk, the more they talk. So perfect. Let's go with Perth Guaratana Narntrakunchom. He is uh, currently working as analytics engineer at Canva. And he has been working and, and contributing to the WordPress community uh, for more than 10 years. Wow, that's a lot. And uh, he also is co-founding the WordPress community in Thailand with his friends. Um, he also organized uh, events like WordCamp Bangkok and WordCamp Asia 2023. And he's going to talk um, how to multiply your income streams with WordPress development skills, which is an interesting talk about how to make money. I'm uh, uh, making a life. So, Perth, please, your turn. Applause, big applause for Perth. Oh, oh, okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, just one moment. Okay. Yeah. Do I? Oh, okay. It's my first time speaking on like this huge stage, so. Anyway, thank you everyone so much for coming today. And yeah, today we will be just talking about like the how can you multiply your uh, WordPress, uh, what your income stream with the WordPress skill. So let's go. Thanks so much for uh, Jose for like introducing me. So I don't think I need to go through this slide so much. So I'll just skip this one. Anyway, I've been working for on WordPress for like 15 years, and I've been contributing to WordPress community. And also like uh, so we have organized the WordPress Bangkok in Thailand, and also the WordCamp in Thailand as well. So yeah, you may have seen me around, but if not, then hello. Good to see you. Right, uh, please raise your hand if you, ha if you are working as like the WordPress developers in this room. How many WordPress developers in this room? OK. So we have around like 30, well, not, not so much. But anyway, so if you are WordPress developers, then you, you might get some ideas on you can, how can you start with like the WordPress skill, and then how can you grow your in multiple incomes. But then if you don't know anything about WordPress development, that's fine too, because then you will be like, you, you might get some inspiration, and then you might start learning your WordPress skill today. And three things we will be talking about in this talk. So uh, the first thing will be the reason why do I diversify my income. So if you like the idea, then you, might, you can try, and then it's only cost zero dollars to try. So yeah, you can do it today. And the second thing is about the, my journey to util, uh, utilizing WordPress development skills to create multiple income streams. And the last one is, uh, last but not least, about the, how, can you, how can anyone create the income stream with the WordPress development skills. So let's get started. Yeah, uh, yeah and so, so I, I, let me get started with, with like, why do I diversify my income? So, and why well, you should also try it. And nowadays, like most people have like one income stream, and normally it's like salary, right? So, or if you are a freelancer, then you might have freelance job. But then I found it's like quite risky if you have like only one income stream because then if that income stream get cut, like for whatever reason, then you suddenly have like zero income. And I'm sure no one wants to be in that position. And but sometimes we don't have other choice because like. It could be because the world is constantly evolving, and then like the world is changing a lot, technology is changing a lot. Like if you have been working in WordPress or technology like for more than ten years, then you probably know about this. And yeah, like the customer or your company might no longer need you, or your competition in business may arise, right? And then or maybe there are new AI, there maybe there are like pandemic that happen. So yeah, you, you never know what's gonna happen. And even if the world stays the same, then sometimes it's like your personal life will gonna change as you grow, right? So it can be like uh, maybe you have more family members that you have to take care of, or maybe there are the health issues that happen to you. So there's a lot of things that can happen to your life. So yeah, so that's why I found like multiple, uh, only one income is like not sustainable. 
So this forced a question to me uh, like many years ago on how do I survive or how is my family going to survive if there's a lot of like if there's only one income and then there's like something that happened to my life or if like something that life like doesn't go as I plan. So well you can either do nothing and if you do nothing then if you can just keep working on one job and then if you like get cut from your main income for whatever reason then you like you, you lose all the income and then you get into financial stress. But, or you can either do like multiple income, you can just create multiple incomes, and then uh, hopefully it will be your happy life, but if not, then it will be like less stress, less financial stress at least, right? So let me show you like what life with the multiple income stream is gonna be like. So, yeah, so first I have like mainstream income, then for me it's like my full-time job, but then for you it can be like freelance or like other different types of job. But then I also have the side business that I like, support my life. So like what I want to do, what, if I want to go to the gym, I can just pay with my, like, the, my side business. So it, I just build side business and I just, it just gives me the side incomes. And multiple, it doesn't have to be that big, it can, can it just be like the small one, but multiple ones can like, support my life at least. And meanwhile, my salary can go into the like, investment or upskilling or for the life, any life improvement that I want, like gym or personal trainer. So normally people will ask, like, if you are like, into the uh, personal finance, then people will ask how many percentage of your salary can go into saving. And people will usually say like 50%, 30%, 40%. But then like, if you have this mindset, then you may be able to like, just put 100% of your salary into the investment. And then you can just like, use the supportive money to do some other things in your life. So just to summarize, like, just for, in, in my case, like salary plus side incomes, it's like just the freedom that I can choose. That how do I want to live? So for me, it's, it's never about like getting so rich so that I can quit my full-time job, but then it's more about like how can I have the income that I can support my family and I can enjoy my life as the fullest with like my loved one. So in summary, yeah, I use this mindset just to create a life that suits me. And for you, it can be a different thing. It might not work for you, but then if it works for you, then you, maybe, maybe it, it will be good for you and your family as well. So yeah, try, see and try. So now let me just go into my like uh, career kind of journey on how do I like create like so many uh, like different multiple of the side incomes. So I have been switching between different jobs and then the uh -huh, it's all start with the workplace development skills. So let me get started. So in 2009, then I start working on the, like, I, I have to find some place to write about, and then it, it has to be WordPress, but at that time, it's like just, there's no other platform that you can use, so it has to be WordPress. And then after I learn more about WordPress, then I, I feel that like I should start, like, my own freelancing service, so that's what I do, when, no, that's what I did when I was studying, so I was studying, so like, bachelor degree, and then I start, like, working on the WordPress services. And then after I graduated, then I found that WordPress is like, it's not too bad of like the career to make money. So <laughs> I just like start doing like the full-time job. So I, I think most people in this room is probably like familiar with this kind of story. But then I, was, I found that like if you just work as the, the full-time web developer, then sometimes it's like it's not close to client. And then sometimes the money doesn't go to you. Like for example, it might go to agency for 50% and it might go to you like 10% of the job. So I just start like thinking about like maybe I can create it on my own team and then just talk to client directly, so I can get more like kind of more income in that way. And yeah, and the last thing is if I have like no, if you have known me um, many years ago, then I switched to data engineering stream, and then I will talk about that later on the later slide on how do I switch to those jobs. But then everything starts from the WordPress development skills. And here's like just some photo. So on the left side, it's like just my first version of my blog. It's very old, it's like 10 years ago. I found it on archive.org. And then the right side is like my first time that I attend WordPress meetup in Bangkok. It's like, yeah, I, so I, that's, that's when I, I first heard about like the WordCamp and Wapu. And I tried to create my own Wapu. <laughs> so it doesn't look that good. Anyway, yeah, so, so, so another thing that you can do with the WordPress development skill is you can also do training. So this one is like something that you can also, like when I first started, it's just like only one-on-one -on -one class, but on the basic WordPress skill. It's like, how do you, do you install WordPress? How do you use WordPress admin kind of stuff? 
Oh, sorry, I forgot to. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so it's, it's a very simple one. But then, so after I, uh, after I do one-on-one -one training, then I found that like, it's not very scalable because then that means I have to take like, my hours to do only one student at a time. So I start doing the group training instead. So I just, have, like, I just find a room and then like, just open the class and find a student. So in one class, I can do like 10 to 15 students. But then I, f I also feel like sometimes it's, like it's, all, it's limited to the geographic area. Like if people want to come to, my, to the class, then they have to, sometimes they have to fly like all the way to, to my place. But then it's, yeah, it's, not, it's not really convenient. So I decided to, uh, to, to start an online class. So it's basically like I, I just put the recording or I just put the live class on the online version. And then if anyone wants to learn, they can just come in and learn. So that, that's how I can scale my business to like in from one on one to one to like more than 100 per class or even thousands if, yeah, sometimes. So yeah. And yeah, apart from training business, then I just I want to, like, uh, to talk a bit about the digital product as well. So, I can, so if, you, you, if you use the player development skill, you can create like plugins or theme as well. So yeah, just, just a quick one. So it, it, I made a bit of income by selling like WordPress uh, theme and plugin, and you, you, with my team there over there. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, and, and we also published some of the plugin on the WordPress ORG as well. So you can do it for free, and on the left side. <laughs> anyway, yeah, as I mentioned earlier, then uh, like when I switched my career to data engineering, then I used the skill from WordPress development skill. So like. I, I've learned PHP, I, I know some programming, so I moved that to like, Python very easily. And then I also learned a bit about like, SQL and database, so I can move that to the like, data engineering, like, quite, quite convenient to do it. And here are a few examples on how do I use the WordPress, uh, yeah, the WordPress skill on the data engineering stuff. So I don't use it in day to day, but then I try to use it like, every time that I, can, I have a chance. So the first example is like I use it as a front end and then connect to the cloud computing back end. So that's the first one. And then the second one is like uh, I start my own training on data engineering. So I use the WordPress to like support like on the delivery. So it can be like the form, it can be the uh, uh, like landing pages. Yeah, it's very convenient to use WordPress. Anyway, yeah, just, so just to summarize, then if you have WordPress development skill as a base, then what you can do is you can, uh, you can create your freelancing services, you can do consulting, or if not, you can do training as well, and training is the good way to kind of like scale your business as well. Or you can do digital products, you can do like plugins or themes, I think that's good. Or if you, if you are like more into kind of like content writing, you can do like affiliate program, affiliate is also making a lot of money as well. And if you are like, if you are, if you are running something outside of WordPress, you can do like, Supporting other business, you can do landing pages, you can do the forms. Yeah, so WordPress like so, uh, like there are opportunities you can use WordPress skill to actually extend your uh, other business. Dear Beth, we are running out. Of, oh yeah, sorry, of time. Uh, I, I, I'm finishing. Okay. <laughs> my, my last slide. <laughs> anyway, so oh yeah, anyway, so for the next step, if you are interested in like this kind of stuff, then yeah, feel free to to get all of the books from Amazon or yeah, other store. It's good, and. Yeah, last slide, then yeah, if you are in Sydney, then feel free to just go grab a coffee. Or if you are on X or LinkedIn, then feel free to come and chat as well. Thank you so much for your time and hope you enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. So, so, so sorry about that. No <laughs> oh. This is a gift from oh, the organization okay. for you, you for, your, uh, for your contribution. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you.